What's up, kittens? And we are back with a, another bathroom band time. This particular version of bathroom band, band time is focusing on line 58 in your book, also known as Bill Grogan's Goat. Now, this is on smart music, so if you don't have your book, you can totally look it up there. But if you have your book, it is page... 16 line 58 all right let's get to it all right so let's pretend for a second that we're looking at line 58 we have right here our key signature some of you are going to have a flat some of you are going to have a sharp some of you aren't even going to have anything and that's okay if you don't have anything that just means that all of your notes are magical so, if you have the flat in your key signature, there we go. All that means is that every note in the song that is a B is going to be a B flat. We talked about that, that's just, they do that so they can say ink. Here is your time signature. We have four, four time. The top note, top number is four beats in a measure. The bottom number is the quarter, means that the quarter note gets the beat. All right, let's get to it. I know that the last measure of here is a little difficult to see. Sorry. If you remember from our last video, we talked about pickup notes. Pickup notes can be more than one note they can be eighth notes, they can even take up more than one beat. It's not necessarily just one beat. The key to figuring out when, when you come in is looking at the last measure. Remember, pickup notes usually are taken away from that last measure and just tacked onto the front. So, let's look at our last measure. There's only one quarter note in that last measure. That means, since we have four beats in a measure, one, two, three, four. That's one, two, three, four. So when you're getting ready to come in, you're going to come in on beat two. That means that when it counts off in the program, you're going to hear one, two, three, four, three, play. One, two, three, four, breathe, play. So you come in on beat two. Now here's another thing about line 58 that's gonna try and trick you, but you're gonna outsmart it because you're a smart person, okay? this little thing right here. Let's get them focus. Get them focus. Yes. Okay. That is this little thing right here. Remember, since the note is on the same line or space, that is a tie. If it was on a different line or space, it would be a slur. Ties tie the note together. So you're going to add on to whatever the first note is. A whole note, we know, gets four beats. One, dash, two, dash, three, dash, four. But, since it is tied over into beat one, we're going to have dash one. So, one, dash, two, dash, three, dash, four, dash, one. That means, that a whole note tied to a quarter note equals five beats. Okay. Little fingers. <laughs> now, so one dash two dash three dash four dash one, and you can't see it because my little metal thing is in the way, but there's three notes there. Two three, four. Those notes are going to be pickup notes into the next measure. 
just like these three notes, or pick up notes into the first actual measure. Remember, it's not a measure unless it has all four beats in it. So, even though that has three beats, it's not a full measure. Yeah, we don't count it. You can't sit with us. Two, three, four, one, dash, two, dash, three, dash, four, dash, one, two, three, four. You'll see that pattern repeats itself a lot in line 58. Two, three, four, one, dash, two, dash, three, dash, four, dash, one, two, three, four, one, dash, two, dash, three, dash, four, dash, one. And I'm not going to insult your intelligence because you're smart people. You can figure out how the rest of it goes. All right. What I do want you to watch out for. I got really close. I'm sorry. What I do want you to watch out for is unlike what your last assignment was in Snake Charmer, you see how you had a concert E flat through that and it was an accidental. So all through line 57, you had E flats. In line 58, you don't have that. You look in the key signature, you only have one flat. So all of the E's are going to be natural. And then at the very, very, very end, which we have up here on the board, on the... This isn't a board, it's a shower. Whoops. You keep going through that pattern, and then at the very end, it's the same type of thing. One dash two dash three, dash four, dash one, and then you're done. I hope that helps you out with line 58. Just a couple of things to watch out for. Now percussion, you have a new rudiment that I want you to be working on that is flan tap. So this next part of the video is going to be special just for you. Hey percussion, I have a um, drum pad here. If you have one of these, that is awesome. If you don't, it's okay. Just find something, okay? What I'm mostly focusing on is your stick technique, okay? Remember, the flam starts one stick higher than the other, and they both go down at the same time. You don't hit them together like I just did. So, flam, 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 Flam. Now for the flam tap, you're going to tap again once the stick that is higher touches. Flam, tap, flam, tap, flam, tap, flam, tap. Now try it going back the other way. So your left hand's going to be higher. Flam, tap, flam, tap, flam. Whoops! Flam, tap. Flam, tap, flam, tap, flam, tap, flam, tap, flam, tap. Now, we need to try and do the alternating. So start with your right hand up. Flam, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Flam, tap, flam, Flam, tap, flam, tap, flam, tap, flam, tap, flam, tap. So that is just a little introduction to flam tap, which you do need to know for the assignment that you have. Now, another thing that I would like y'all to look at just for fun is whatever your favorite song is. And it could be one that I've never heard of before. It's, it's your favorite song. It's not mine. Try and start picking out your favorite song, whether it comes on the radio, whether it's in a video game, whatever. Try and pick out your favorite song by ear on your instrument. It's It should be a little fun thing, okay? 
we're not going to stress over it. We're not going to like make it a grade or anything. It is purely you having fun, exploring on your instrument, and picking out a song that you really like. Okay? With all of that said, we do have um, a new website up. I'm email I have already emailed out the link to that. Um, that is going to have all of our links, all of our passwords, all the good stuff in that site if you register because all of the links and passwords are going to be in the members only section that I need to approve you for so that we don't get weirdos in our website, okay? Um, so yeah, just get registered for that and I'll let you in. That is going to be our centralized location for all of our assignments, any updates, things of that nature. If you have any questions, please let me know. If not, I miss you, I love you, have a wonderful rest of whatever, because I don't know how long this is going to go. <laughs> I miss you guys. See you later.